Hey guys, welcome back to Adventures in Aviators and our snorkeling series. Today we are jumping in the water on Mauritius, the beautiful island nation in the Indian Ocean. Specifically, we are down in Flick on Flack on the southwest corner of this beautiful tropical island. As always, we are going to be ranking this location on five categories. That is, location, water access, water traffic, wildlife, and facilities. And as always, we'll be ranking this on our scale of one to five manta rays. Five manta rays. So let's get right to it. Where is Flick on Flack? As I mentioned, it's in the southwest part of Mauritius. It's about just over an hour from the resorts up in the north at Grand Bay. Similarly, about an hour from my board where the airport is, but it is closer to Lamorne in the southwest and Flick and Flack is a pretty popular area on its own as well. Regardless of where you're coming from, you're gonna come down A3 and then you're gonna turn onto Coastal Road. It's pretty much the only way into Flick and Flack, so do be ready for some traffic. This area is a little bit known for that. And Coastal Road's gonna come in and it is actually going to turn here at Jumbo Express, which is a great little grocery store. So Coastal Road, you're actually gonna stay on Coastal Road as it makes its way to the coast. And basically right as you start to see the water is gonna be our snorkeling spot. This beach area extends for quite a ways to the south, uh, I believe over a kilometer. Um, but really right here on the northern part is the best snorkeling. And so you're gonna to wanna to try to grab a parking spot as soon as you see one, there is limited parking along the street. If you do continue down a ways, there is gonna be a proper parking lot, but I would not uh, wait for that. If you can help it, try to park as soon as you see the beach. And that is where we are gonna get started here. Just to the south, you will see a group of food trucks. That'll be kind of a good landmark for you there. So if you make it to the food trucks, you've gone too far, it's gonna be north or right of the food trucks as you're looking at the water. So because it is relatively easy to find, still a ways from many of the resort areas, I'm gonna give this three out of five manta rays. Water entry, once again, is super easy. We have a proper beach here, and so getting in is just nice and easy. There's a fair amount of uh, dead coral that might uh, come up onto this beach, so just be mindful as you're getting in. Entry into the water here is super easy. You'll see here there is a little bit of a kind of designated swimming lane there, so just do be mindful of people. As always, we recommend going nice and early, but even when we went nice and early on this morning, you can see there are still some people out and about in this area, so it might be good to lock your belongings up in the car and not leave too much stuff up out on the beach, regardless of what time you're here if you don't have someone waiting on shore for you. Since it's a super easy water entry right on the water, I'm gonna give this the illustrious five manta rays. Five manta rays. Once you do jump in the water, as I mentioned, you do wanna keep your eyes out for people doing laps and swimming around in this area. And this is a pretty popular beach. Flick and Flack is, is quite popular. There will definitely be people around, so you do wanna keep your eyes open for them. And you'll see to the north here, we've got a big area for boats and you can get all kinds of tours out of Flick and Flack. Now they are supposed to stay kind of to the north of these big buoys that you can see here and, and snorkelers should stay to the south of this area. But again, they share a common space and uh, doesn't mean everyone's always being responsible all the time. So do be on the lookout for boat traffic as well. Because of a heightened awareness of water traffic here, both from people and from boats, I'm gonna give this three out of five manta rays. Now, once you jump in here, you'll see kind of that, that blocked off area for swimming is pretty clear of coral and uh, anything that you would really wanna see. But very quickly, it doesn't get especially deep, but you do start to see kind of different uh, grasses and you do have to kind of find your coral heads here. There, It's not a super lush area like we experienced down at Blue Bay or at uh, even just down at Lamorne. But you will see a variety of fish. You can see all kinds of stuff. We saw some eels here. We saw, uh, I don't remember what these things are called, but man, they're creepy looking. <laughs> but they're, I think they're a type of sea cucumber, which is actually, I think, a type of starfish. Don't quote me on that. But uh, all kinds of, you know, you just never know what you're gonna see down here. Overall, I would say this area is nice if you're in Flick on Flack, but if you are looking for destinations that have the highest level of snorkeling and the most beautiful coral and reefs, I would not put Flick and Flack in that area. I would say uh, make the extra effort to go, you know, another half an hour or so down to Lamorne. I would say that is a much healthier and more vibrant area. But again, if you're staying on Flick and Flack and this is uh, where you're at, it's very walkable for most areas in Flick and Flack and it is a, a nice little spot to jump in the water and see some stuff. All told, there are definitely better places to snorkel on the island, but if this is what you got, it's better than nothing. But I'm only gonna give this two out of five manta rays. Finally, with facilities, as I mentioned, there's very limited parking on the street right here where the snorkeling area is. But if you continue on down, there is some other parking. I will tell you this area though does get very busy uh, during the day and into the evening hours. And so parking is not a guarantee. If you're staying in a place that's walkable, I would probably recommend walking. There are some bathrooms just to the south of the 
food truck area, so that is available to you as well, although it's hit or miss on you know, how clean they are and the different types of stuff that they have, but it, you know, there's a functioning toilet there, so that's nice. So overall, I'm gonna give that four out of five answers. If you've snorkeled Flick and Flack and have some recommendations, please put those down below in the comments. As always, if you enjoy this kind of content, either jumping in the water, going on hikes, or just experiencing nature, hit that like and subscribe button. We'd love to have you as a part of our community here. As always, help me take care of our environment, keep this place cleaner than when you found it, and we will see you next time.